Eleven years after the Great East Japan earthquake, Fukushima Prefecture is making steady progress in its recovery. Let's take a look at Fukushima today as it continues to build a new future. In March 2021, the Tokyo Olympics torch relay started at National Training Center J Village, a symbol of Fukushima's recovery. The torch was carried around Fukushima, including to the Daiichi Tadami River Bridge, serving the JR Tadami Line, one of Japan's most beautifully secluded railway lines, and Komine Castle in Shirakawa City. The Fukushima Prefecture Azuma Baseball Stadium hosted seven baseball and softball matches during the Olympics. Amid cheers and support by visitors from all over the world, Fukushima exhibited its dauntless pursuit of recovery and the many charms and attractions of the prefecture. As radiation contamination removal and living environment rebuilding efforts continue, evacuation orders have been lifted for all parts of Fukushima, except those classified as difficult to return zones. About 12% of the entire prefecture was evacuated after the disaster. This has now been brought down to around 2.4%. Furthermore, radiation air dose rates in the prefecture have been almost entirely brought down to standard levels seen in major cities worldwide. Surface decontamination has been completed for all parts of the prefecture except difficult to return zones and, with the exception of these zones, the transport of contaminated soil to temporary use interim storage facilities is expected to be completed for all areas in March 2022. Post-disaster recovery and rebuilding efforts are proceeding steadily. As medical facilities, shopping centers, and other basic daily use facilities are completed, residents are returning to their towns. Last year in Okuma Town, a commercial complex containing shopping facilities was opened. Life has begun returning to the town. Even in difficult-to-return zones, where restrictions on residency will remain well into the future, certain areas are being designated as special zones for reconstruction and revitalization. These include Katsurao Village, Okuma Town, and Futaba Town, where former residents have begun staying overnight in anticipation of the lifting of evacuation bans starting in spring 2022. These are major steps toward a brighter future in these towns. However, recovery in certain areas, including the difficult to return zones, is not yet complete. More than 30,000 former residents remain evacuated from their former towns. Measures to rebuild living environments and enable former residents to return home with full confidence continue to this day. The newly established Fukushima 12 Municipality Relocation Support Center in Tomioka Town is playing a central role in these efforts, attracting regional contributors and workers to come live in and help revitalize Fukushima Prefecture towns. Overall, 99% of post-disaster reconstruction for the Great East Japan earthquake has been completed. Construction continues for the designated eight Fukushima reconstruction and revitalization roads. Furthermore, the Tohokuchuo Expressway Soma Fukushima Road has been completed and opened for use along its entire length. This road was built to support more rapid recovery following the Great East Japan earthquake, and its completion and opening will help speed up Fukushima's revitalization. The JR Tadami line was heavily damaged in July 2011 after the earthquakes when a torrential rain and flooding disaster hit both Fukushima and Niigata prefectures. This railway line, well known even in other countries as a beautifully secluded route, is still down along one section of the route, which is served temporarily by buses. 
However, thanks to strong support from locals, reconstruction teams have overcome countless challenges and plan to reopen this remaining section of the line in fall 2022. When trying to reconstruct a region, it's vital to rebuild and relaunch industry operations as well. Powered by Fukushima Pride, efforts are underway to rebuild various types of industry. It's the 11th year since the nuclear power plant accident. In Katsurao village, a new goods collection and shipping system has been established to send local agricultural products to supermarkets and other retailers located outside of the village. In Futaba town, restrictions on shipping out of products such as spinach and turnips grown in former evacuation zone designated areas has been lifted. Furthermore, test growing of rice has started in Futaba town, which is designated as a special zone for reconstruction and revitalization. Now, rice is being harvested here for the first time in 11 years, with the goal of restarting full agricultural operations again in the future. The Ukedo fishing port, which suffered severe tsunami damage, has been rebuilt. Repairs and reconstruction have been completed for 10 fishing ports throughout Fukushima Prefecture that were damaged by tsunamis. The prefecture's post-nuclear disaster coastal fishing test run operations have also been completed. With the goal of returning to pre-disaster production and distribution levels, efforts are underway to solve various problems and expand catch sizes and shipping volumes. Thoroughgoing inspections of Fukushima Prefecture agricultural, forest, and fishery products are continuing to ensure full safety by attaining good agricultural practices, GAP certification, which ensures high product safety and quality. For more products than any other prefecture in Japan, Fukushima strives to boost brand strength for its products. Fukushima GAP, Many import bans on Fukushima foods and similar products set by the United States and other countries following the nuclear disaster have now been lifted. The product bans implemented in 55 countries and regions following the disaster have been reduced to 14, indicating an increase in international awareness. Export numbers have surpassed pre-disaster figures to set new records and Fukushima plans to continue expanding its international sales channels for agricultural products. Fukushima has always been known as a major rice-growing region. With the goal of producing Japan's best rice, they undertook 14 years of development efforts and are proud to debut the new Fuku Warai brand of rice. Its production is permitted only by agricultural producers who have received Japan's GAP certification. Fuku Warai offers unprecedented singular texture and flavor, which have earned it outstanding reviews from rice specialists. In addition, Fukushima Sake have won the National Research Institute of Brewing Gold Prize more times than any other prefecture for eight years running. Fukushima's hard work over the years is showing tangible results. Steady progress is being made in the Fukushima Innovation Coast Framework National Project, which brings together the prefecture's leading-edge technologies and research to take on new challenges and create new industry. The International Robot Competition World Robot Summit 2020 was held at Fukushima Robot Test Field in Minamisoma City. Fukushima is pursuing new endeavors in various fields. These include medical facilities such as the Fukushima Medical Device Development Support Center, the Fukushima Hydrogen Energy Research Field, which serves as an important production center for hydrogen, a form of renewable energy used around the world, and other projects which lay the foundations for further progress. The Historical Archive Museum of Tomioka was built to preserve memories and records related to the earthquake and tsunami disaster and nuclear power plant incident, while also passing down the town's history and culture to future generations. 
At Ukedo Elementary School in Namie Town, evidence of the tsunami disaster remains visible to this day. It has been selected as the first designated disaster remnant in Fukushima Prefecture. This designation is made to remind people of the threats such disasters pose and remind them lessons learned, thus bolstering disaster preparedness. The Great East Japan Earthquake and Nuclear Disaster Memorial Museum had its grand opening in 2020. It has received more than 90,000 visitors and helps to preserve memories and records of the natural and nuclear disasters for future generations. One day after the 10th anniversary of the disaster, the prefecture announced its new slogan, making it a reality, one at a time, Fukushima. Fukushima has made huge strides in its reconstruction and revitalization efforts and will continue to do so as it moves forward. We will achieve each and every one of these, one at a time, for the sake of a better future. One, one. 実現する福島。